Hey guys and welcome back. So for today's video, I'm gonna be doing my makeup only using cream products I have never done that before ever like I've never done my makeup just using creams lately I have just not been liking the way my skin has been looking I feel like it's been looking super cakey and just like too much my makeup like my skin has been feeling like it just feels really heavy and like I have a lot on my face so I wanted to try and just do my makeup using cream products which is exactly what I did today when I got ready and I'm super happy with the way it looks I don't know about you guys but I am feeling this right anyways uh, but yeah I use all 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 cream products I only use powder at one point to set my face and to bake but other than or not to set my face but to set my under eyes and my t-zone and then to bake and that is it Everything else you see on my face is cream based and I really like the way it looks. So I'm not gonna go ahead and do too much of this, but let's just go ahead and jump on into the video. For primer, I'm gonna be using the Dior Backstage Primer. You guys know me, you know that I love this. It really just blends out your skin so nicely. So and mama needs it these days because I have not been taking that good care of my skin. I don't know, now that I have all this free time, I've just gotten so lazy, which you would think it would be the opposite, but no. I really like this primer because it blurs out your skin it makes it look super poreless and even for days that I'm not gonna wear any makeup and I just want my skin to look a little bit better if I might go like to the grocery store run some errands I'll literally just put this primer on and it just makes your skin seriously look really perfected nice and smooth honestly I'm a fan of Let's see how many times I can drop something in this video. Let's see. So I'm already on two. And for foundation, I'm going to be using the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. Love this guy. I'm in the shade Warm Ivory. I haven't tanned in probably like two weeks. So I'm like super... This is like my natural color, you guys. And I'm super pale these days. So, and this is my lightest foundation, so we're just gonna... It's like my creamiest foundation and it's my lightest foundation. So that's what we're going with today. I like to just focus it on the areas that I'm breaking out and I'm actually not breaking out at the moment I just have some dark spots from when I did break out so I'm just gonna go over those places right now it looks like super random and scattered oh well Lately, I've been trying to do a less is more approach with my makeup. I honestly have not been liking the way that my makeup has been looking lately. I feel like it just looks so, like, kind of cakey and it just is, like, so much. It's heavy. So I really want to start wearing a little less makeup. So today when I sat down, I was like, Iman, less is more. Less is more. So I'm going to go ahead and spray my brush, spray my brush with Fix Plus. I feel like this is just going to help me have, like, a lighter hand and it's going to make the makeup... Just blend a little bit more and I'm using the Tarte like this Kabuki brush. I love this brush. I feel like it just like covers my whole face so quickly. It cuts the time in half for me putting my foundation on and it just makes everything look so nice. Damn hoop earrings will be the death. And for concealer, I'm going to be using the Dior Forever Skin Correct, and I love this concealer. It is so nice. It just gives a really nice poreless look, I feel like. So, again, I'm going to try and take a light hand when doing this because I tend to go overboard. So, I'm just going to do a little bit. Is that a little bit? Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> and just blend that out with a beauty blender. I don't know why I always call these sponges beauty blenders. I think that's because like I always, like when they first came out, they were only beauty blenders, but now this is totally not a beauty blender. It's the Real Techniques sponge. I actually don't even own a beauty blender anymore. I only use the other brands. So let's get into the rhythm of calling it sponge. Oh, my forehead is like, kind of dry and patchy let's hope this looks good luckily I'm using just creams today I will just use a little bit of powder just to set certain areas like my under eyes and my t-zone because I do have oily skin but for the most part everything is really just gonna be cream today you guys I seriously can't wait <laughs> so we're back in normal because I I feel like I need more filler in my life <laughs> It is so addicting. Now I want more filler under my eyes, more filler in my lips. It's looking good, right? I feel like I don't need any more. Obviously, normally I would definitely put some more concealer under my eyes because I used to love that stock white. Or not even stock white, but just like that like full coverage under eye. 
and I, like I said, I've been trying to do the less is more approach, so let's see how it goes. Okay, okay, okay. And I'm just gonna set my under eyes really, really quickly. I'm not gonna set the rest of my face. I just want to take a little bit of Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. And I'm just gonna go like directly under my eyes. I'm not gonna set the whole thing. Can you guys see what I'm doing? I hope you can. All right, now that that's done, ooh, that. Now for the contour, I'm gonna be using the Huda Beauty Tantor Cream Contour, and this is in the shade Light. It is not light by any means, but this is definitely the lighter one. And I like to apply this with a brush. I've tried with a beauty blender, and I don't really like the way that it, like it was just too thick, like I couldn't really control where I wanted it to go. So I'm gonna be using my Kat Von D Shade and Light Brush, and I'm gonna be using the contour side, and just dab it in there, and just go. That's so freaking pretty. It blends so, so nicely. I have just been loving this product because I also feel like it just does the work in like half the time as well. Like I'm pretty much, less is more. I was just about to put some more, but I feel like we're good. Put some on the forehead. Am I the only one who feels like this side literally never looks like this side? My left side always is like effortlessly perfect. And then this side is like, what the fuck? <laughs> you know, is it just me? I don't know, I hope it's not just me. And then I'll take some on my jawline as well. I feel like this step is so crucial for me. Freaking earring. Okay, okay, I like what's happening right now. And then I'll put a little bit on my nose. I wish I had a smaller brush like this so that I could really get my nose contour down, but I don't. So we're just gonna have to make do with what we got. But I also don't want like a super heavy nose contour. Again, less is more today. Less is more. You guys have no idea how many times I'm saying that in my head right now. I'm like, less is more, less is more, less is more. Because I definitely have a heavy hand. I'll be the first to admit that. But I feel like it always just looks so much better when you just don't do as much. But you know, I never have those days because I do a lot all the time. I'm extra. I like what's going on here. I like that I didn't set my face. I feel like it looks like my skin. All right. I'm just going to blend out that forehead contour. Make sure we don't have like a helmet head. I, for the longest, when I first started doing the whole contour thing, I would give myself helmet head on the regular, and no one told me. No one was like, Iman, you look crazy. I just had to learn on my own. So I definitely try to avoid helmet head at all costs. And then just to set everything, I'm gonna be using, well, no, we're not setting everything. We're just dusting a little bit of setting powder on my T-zone. I'm gonna be using the, what is this called? Huda Beauty um, Bake, what does she call it? The Easy Bake, Whatever, her setting powder. That's what we're using. Put up beauty setting powder. Okay. I normally set my setting powder with the beauty blender, but today I kind of want to use a brush because I want to go a little bit less and not as heavy handed. So I'm just going to dust some right here. I'm using the shade Cupcake, by the way. I really want to get Banana Bread because it has like a nice yellow tint, but personally, I love Cupcake because I feel like it gives you a nice brightening effect, but I really want to see what, um, what Banana Bread looks like, so I might actually get that for the Sephora sale. I love the way this powder smells. Every time I open it, I'm like, oh, why did I stop using this? <laughs> I'm like debating, should I go over these cream products with just a little bit of powder? Hmm, no, because this is a cream only video. Get it together, man. Cream only, cream only. But I am gonna bake. And for blush, I only have one cream blush, so I definitely need to step up my game, and it's a super old one, and it's this Maybelline Dream Bounce Blush. It looks like this, if I can get it open. It's like one of those like 
the bouncy ones. I used to love this color, so I'm gonna go ahead and should I just like is that how you do it? Probably not. Anyways, let me get a brush so uh, I don't mess this up. And I have been liking a lot of blush lately, so I probably will go a little bit heavy handed with the blush. And I'm just patting it on. I'm not really moving it around because I feel like with creams, like if you do go in a circular motion, you'll kind of like, because you haven't said anything, so I feel like it'll just kind of move everything around in a way that I don't want it to. So I'm having more of a pat approach than a blending approach. Mmm, that's so pretty. Oh my gosh, did I just find a new like makeup routine? I've been liking to focus on the apples of the cheek and then work my way back into the contour to blend everything. That is so pretty! What? You guys, I'm like really happy with the way this is looking. Honestly, when I sat down, I was like, oh, cream, everything. I got really nervous, but I'm actually really liking the way this is looking. I'm super impressed. We're going to go in with some highlighter. I feel like it's also going really quickly. I feel like I never get this far along with, with powders. I feel like I'm like sitting there and blending forever, and I feel like I've hardly had to really blend, so that is awesome. Um, and for today's highlight, I'm using, I only have one cream highlight. Honestly, as you guys can tell, I really don't use that many cream products, so I don't have that many options, but I do really like this highlighter, and it is from ColourPop. It is the shade Wisp. It's their Super Shock Cheek, and this is what it looks like. It's super, super pretty. I don't even know how I'm gonna apply this. Are we gonna do our finger? Should I do a beauty blender? I don't know. Um, let's see how it looks with our finger first. Because I feel like the warmth from your finger is like a nice way. Ooh. Ooh, can you see it? Can you see the bling? Can you see it? I need a mirror. Closer mirror. That is so pretty. Yo, what is going on? Why am I just discovering creams? And it blended so nicely. And if you want, like, I like go over it maybe with a beauty blender just to pat it on there. But again, less is more. So I'm just gonna pop a little bit more onto the high point of my cheek. Yo. I am sold. I'm sold, I'm sold, I'm sold. I even like to take my highlighter all the way up to like my brow. Because I feel like it just makes your skin look so nice when you do that. And then just put a little bit on the forehead as well. This I feel like I could use like a beauty blender because that's a little tough. Oh man. Man, why does... Ugh, we we're on a good track. We're on a good track. Blend, blend, blend. I'm like, I don't even know how to apply it on my forehead. Like what part of the beauty blender do I use? Let's use this little top guy. Oh my god, I literally just put, <laughs> that was genius. I just put a ton of highlight on the one little spot that I'm having like a bunch of little breakouts. Like as if I didn't bring enough attention to it, let's just put some highlighter on it. And then I also like to put some on above the brow a little bit. And then some on the bridge of my nose. Blend that out. And then on the tip. Can't forget about the tip. You guys, I've also been really been sleeping on ColourPop. Like, their stuff is super affordable and really good quality so far. And I need to, like, step my game up because I hardly have any ColourPop. I think I have two things. It's, like, their concealer and this highlighter. So, Mama gotta step up her game. But I do remember last time I went to Ulta and tried to get some things from ColourPop. I wanted to get their mascara and some lip liners. And, like, literally everything was sold out. So, I guess that is a good indication. But... I never went online to look at anything. I am not like an online kind of person. I hate shopping online for makeup. Like unless it's something I already know I like and it's like a repurchase or like it, I don't have to color match, then I'll do it. But for the most part, I'm an in, in person kind of girl. I'm just gonna go ahead and bake now. So aside from setting my under eyes in my T-zone, that's literally the only powder that I used, and then now I'm just gonna go ahead and bake. But other than that, I'm really not gonna use any other powder. I don't even know if I'm gonna do eyeshadow. Should I do eyeshadow? I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. But anyways, to bake, I'm gonna be using my handy dandy Maybelline Fit Me Loose Setting Powder, and this is my all-time favorite powder. Powder. <laughs> This is my all-time favorite powder to bake. Like, I feel like it literally 
like no other powder is this good not even Laura Mercier I feel like it just like cleans everything if you had a heavy hand or you didn't you weren't as precise as you wanted to be this will clean it all up and I am super heavy-handed with this this is okay this we can have a heavy hand Sorry, I can't talk when I put my powder on. I need to make sure that line is precise. And while I bake, I'm gonna go ahead and put my eyebrows on. So we'll be back in just a minute. I'm gonna do that off camera because I have my own separate brow video that I will go ahead and link. But yeah, I'm gonna just go ahead and fast forward all that. Okay, you guys, so I went ahead and did my brows and then I'm such an idiot. I went ahead and like started doing my eye makeup as well, not realizing my camera wasn't recording, but I went ahead and I'm, I didn't do any eyeshadow today, but I did do a, I attempted to do some sort, I don't know if you guys can see it, some sort of wing liner. I will be the first one to tell you guys I suck at wing liner, so I always try to avoid it because I don't want to ruin my makeup, but considering I have nowhere to go and we're just playing, I figured I will attempt and I wanted to try something that my friend Kelsey actually recommended to me and that's something that she does and she uses her brow pencil to do kind of like a little smudged wing liner kind of situation which is what I did today I used my brow whiz um, to just kind of give me like a nice little I've been trying to use browns for my liner and I did use the um, what is it the benefit one before but it was just like as much as like as many times as I went over it, it just became like I, at one point it just looked like it was black. So I was like, all right, that doesn't work for me. I don't think I'm there yet in my liner skills to use that. So I tried using this and I'm in the shade, I think this is soft brown or no, this is medium brown. And I actually really like the way it turned out. I don't know if you guys can see, but I mean, I feel like the, the wing is really good. Not so much on this side, but this side is definitely good. And I feel like it gives me that like brown nice shade that I've been really, really wanting. I'm actually really happy with it. So I like it. We'll see how it looks like when I finish the rest of my makeup. But I'm going to go ahead and wipe away this big situation. And do, 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 do. instantly just cleaned everything up and made me look so much more snatched. Do I want to do liner, like a white cream liner? It's like my signature go-to thing is using white liner, or not white, but like a cream liner. I feel like it just makes my eyes look bigger because I naturally have smaller eyes, so I feel like this is just like a must for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of Hoola and just smudge out my waterline. I feel like this step is a necessity for me because personally my concealer tends to crease throughout the day so I always always have to do this step because I feel like it just like totally hides any creasing and it just feel like it really ties the look together. I always have to smudge out my waterline no matter what and I feel like it just makes that that cream liner pop a little bit more. So I'm just going to do just a little bit. And again, this is probably the only other powder that I'm going to be using. I think we can just go in with mascara now, right? I'm like, am I missing anything? Am I forgetting something? No. So I'm just going to go ahead and set my face with some setting spray. So then going in with my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And I'm just going to go ahead. Am I going to use this? Because I'm not going to have this on all day. You know what? Whatever. Let's do it couple spritz of that my handy dandy hand fan and then just to kind of set everything and give my skin a nice little glow I'm gonna be using the rose gold skin mist by Farsali love this stuff just give it a good shake now just for our mascara that's the only thing that's left I don't have any lashes currently I definitely need to restock uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put some mascara on and you guys already know I have lived by this mascara forever it is the they are real by benefit I'll go ahead and put this on and I'll come back because no one wants to see anyone putting on their mascara so I'll be back in a minute our mascara is on I even went ahead and added like a little cat eye thing in the inner corner I've been wanting to try that I love a good cat eye look which is kind of what I was going for today I don't know how it really kind of turned out I'm kind of happy with that liner that I did with the brow pencil I'm definitely gonna keep playing with that and try and get a little bit better and definitely get better with liner because 
Mama got all this free time these days. So now on to the lip. I honestly have no idea what I want to do. I'm like, should I do a pop of color? I already have like a lot of color on my shirt. But I'm going to go ahead and line my lips. And for my liner, I'm going to be using the Marc Jacobs Longwear Lip Pencil in the shade Nudist. I'm sure you guys are familiar with this. Everyone talks about it. And honestly... And they say it's like really long lasting, it wears really well through anything, but I think I just got the wrong color. I think nudist might be too nude for me, but let's see. Okay, just kidding, not too nude, good shade, I like it. But I can't decide if I want to do a nude or if I want to do some color. I think we're gonna do a nude, you guys. It's a nude. It's a nude. Then for the center of the lips, I'm gonna be using the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream, and this is in the shade Cairo. I love this for when I'm doing a good nude, just to like brighten things up. Just put that in the center, and I like to blend it with my finger. Put a little bit more. And then for the gloss, I'm going to be using the Dior Lip Maximizer. And this is in the shade number 3, I believe. No, shade 13. This is my favorite, favorite, favorite lip gloss. It's like the only lip gloss I use, and I love it. And I really just focus it on the center of the lips. Juicy, juicy. We're all done. Just take this mane down. And there we have it, you guys. I am all done with this look. We used literally all cream products. I'm so proud of myself. Like I said in the video, the only thing I used on powder was to set my under eyes and my T-zone because I do have an oily, I do have oily skin. So if you are someone who doesn't have oily skin and your concealer doesn't crease or move under your eyes, then you can totally avoid that step. But for me, I have to set my T-zone, even just a little bit. I didn't go overboard with it at all. So I'm super proud of myself for just sticking to cream products. And honestly, you guys, I really, really like the way it turned out. I think I'm actually gonna start doing my makeup like this because I am loving it. Like in Person. It just looks so natural. My makeup looks like my skin. Less is more is really the way to go. I don't know why it took me so long to get that through my head, but now that I see it looks really, really good, I'm really happy with it. Moving forward, I'm definitely going to be doing less my diva ring is going a little crazy over there. But yeah, less is really more, you guys. I love the way my makeup looks. It looks so natural. It looks so beautiful. My skin actually looks my like my skin. It doesn't look cakey. And I feel like I could wear this all day long. Like, I don't feel like I'm wearing any makeup. So I'm super happy with the way it turned out. And now I need to, like, go find some plants. Although there are no plants. I'll probably literally just go take a walk right now. Because it is so nice outside. My window is behind me. Or in front of me. So... I've just been, it's like, it looks so nice. But anyways, I hope you guys like this video. If so, you know, please give it a thumbs up. And yeah, thanks for watching you guys. And until next time, bye guys.